How lucky are we to have a few minutes with our senior performance consultant, Dr. Kate Whirlton Pullum. Kate, I have to brag about you for a minute. You got your PhD from Oxford, of all places. I did. I did indeed. Was it as fabulous as we think it might be? It was, and I miss it a lot, <laughs> but, but really well, happy to be here too. That's great. And the UK's loss is our gain. And we really <laughs> need you right now. Um, there's a lot going on in the world. Yeah. So Allen Com, I think we recognize as a company really early that we have a responsibility to our clients to really help them navigate what this means in the learning space. And that meant you really taking an approach that said, okay, guys, let's come up all ideas on the table. What can we do? So, so true. And I think one of the, my favorite things about my job as a performance consultant is adapting to each and every client and how we are in a sphere now where we all have to adapt to change and do it very quickly, especially if the, the learning and the training that the, our clients have now is instructor led training. So in-person training. And so I wanted to learn how are other clients doing this? I know how my clients are doing this. I know what their biggest pressures are on them. For example, that their business goals this week are completely different than what they were last week. And we're having to adapt to that in technology and learning and the material and the content curation, adapting all things for everyone right now. But I wanted to hear what other clients in, um, in our company are dealing with across many, many different industries. And so I went to our performance consultant team about seven more of us and I asked guys what's going on with your clients in all of these different industries tell me what's going on with them and I learned that that their learners in um, and even their learning and development clients in the learning and development spheres are having to upskill train at new use new devices completely scrap the ILTs that they were used to and move very, very quickly to what we call virtual ILT or VILT and other web-based forms. And so we're just having to, to adapt really quickly in a lot of different ways. And I love that creative atmosphere, even if it's in a, in a time of a real trial for a lot of us. I love that. And that really segues perfectly into the webinar. You took that information and that virtual ILT, you mentioned, uh, how did you approach the webinar and, and, and what are you most excited to share with everybody? The, the thing I want to share most with people is to first abate any of their fears that they can't make this change quickly if it's not at the expense of the value they and the impact that they need to make with the training and the learning solution. The, the individual training, which is usually the web-based, the contextual learning, which is kind of on the job, and then the social learning can all be maintained, especially that social collaboration doesn't have to be lost. There are lots of ways to, to maintain that in the virtual ILT, and in, even if it's a blend with the web-based and the virtual ILT. For example, the, the VALT spheres, they have the, discussion classroom collaboration and the breakout rooms and the asset sharing, best practices sharing. There's even modes for sharing assets and sharing best practices on social and the discussion rooms. And even if it's um, the role play is really important to their ILT already, that can be maintained with scenarios and live polls and different ways to maintain a discussion. And there can even be a live facilitator. The live facilitator that you're already used to can still be maintained. And even we can do train the trainer to, to maintain those things in order to make it as seamless a transition as possible, not at the expense of the social collaboration at all. Love it. And you had an example too, where in some cases it may have even been better uh, you've got some examples. For example, there was a three-hour seat time you really reduced, right? Yes, yes, exactly. We have a lot of client examples. They come to us with their existing ILT, and sometimes it's just hours and hours of PowerPoints. And so in this one particular example that I can think of, the, this client had three hours of PowerPoints that we reduced to just two mobile job aids. And, and the impact and the punch was not lost. In fact, in some cases, it was improved. And so the webinar kind of talks about this as an evolution, that we're, just not, we're not just adapting to survive, but maybe even to thrive. And maybe this is the better solution for you. Maybe not, maybe ILT, is your more ideal solution, but what you have to do right now is digital. And so we, we discuss this with lots of different methods for maintaining the right kind of impact for you. Um, and a lot, and one of the byproduct um, benefits can be re a huge reduction in seat time. 
um, to kind of streamline the content to really nail what the learner needs most. And so that's what I love about my job. And that's what I want to convey to the whole learning and development universe is this can be done. We are survivors. I love all of that. And like you mentioned with the social, we are social beings. Yes. We need to be able to feel like um, we still have that and have access to that. And what you're talking about, I hear you saying, is the webinar just has a lot of examples, a lot of custom, really great strategic possibilities for how each different company can uh, approach figuring out and navigating and even, dare we say, trying to thrive in this uncertain environment. So I know I miss seeing you in person, but seeing you virtually is pretty great. I miss seeing you too, Sammy. But we have to just get used to this new normal and look at it as an opportunity. As I sit here with the luxury of being a healthy person, yeah. but while I am healthy and sitting here, I, I want to look at this as an opportunity for all of us to find new ways of connecting. Great. Well, stay safe. And in the meantime, can't recommend enough that everybody gives this webinar a good, thorough look. You're going to love it. Great. I really hope it helps everyone. Good Thanks. to chat with you. You too. Okay. See you soon.